Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Arnell. I am back with day 72 of the 100 day project and we are making easy double envelope pockets. And this is extremely easy to make. This flap opens and then you'll have a pocket in here. It flips over and you'll have a pocket in here. And then of course you can always glue it three sides and then you'll have a pocket on the top. Um, very easy to make. So what you'll need um, a full sheet of paper to begin with. And what I did is we're going to use half of the page for each pocket. So if you only use half of the page, it's going to be too big if you use a normal 11 by eight and a half page. So I am going to cut it down to about let's say nine and a half okay and ideally for this project double-sided paper is is would be good because then when you open your envelopes those pieces will be pretty too but i kind of felt like it's a waste of ink to do a double-sided paper for just that little bit of show to show so you can either copy dye it or i am going to just stencil it and um where did i put the stencil okay so i have a stencil here and I have this makeup brush that it works really well for stenciling and I'm just you can do any color or if you want to you can even glue some decorative papers on there as well if you want to decorate the flap if you're okay with a white flap there's nothing wrong with that either so that is your first step if you don't have double-sided paper then the next step would be to simply fold this over that would be the base of your pocket and then just the flap fold the flap over okay and the next step would be to simply get the half mark you can use your cutter for this I'm simply going to use my scissors and cut this in half and then basically that is your two envelopes done now you simply have to do the gluing um, you can of course also add a notch here I can do that for these oh. I'll just need a piece of paper in the back for some reason my I might have to sharpen this one I was doing the same thing the other day didn't want to cut through the okay so now we're just going to glue the envelope shut and then the next step is to simply put these two together and glue them together here in the fold I'm going to use a glue stick for that. And that is your double envelope pocket finished. It is as easy as that. You can obviously use some of these, oops, these decorative bunches to decorate this flap up or add some lace lots of ways to decorate so the other easy way to make these is obviously just to take two envelopes and glue the flaps together and then decorate it 
couldn't be easier than that so if you have extra envelopes you can simply do that I mean that didn't take two seconds the decorating will take way longer than that but there is a double envelope pocket finished and done obviously you don't have it in fancy printed papers but you can add all of that onto this these envelopes so let's start mass making I've already cut these two smaller so let's just cut these smaller as well So these, this is my um, painted um, lace and paint, coffee, paint and lace, no paint and coffee lace dyed papers. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, my shop is open again, so these are available again in the shop. I put my shop on vacation mode after I was sick, and I just. I have to restock again, so I, everything is restocked and ready to go. If you are interested in some papers, if you don't want to do the dyeing yourself, there's all kinds of dyed papers in the shop. And it's on Etsy and it's just Mimi's keepsakes on Etsy as well. Okay, so the next step is to simply stencil these I've done the stenciling on these I don't think I'm going to stencil that one so we only have this one to stencil let's do that quickly I don't know how this one slipped through the cracks but that's just what happened So it is pretty warm here today and I forgot to put the aircon, my little aircon unit on before I come upstairs because the part where I film, I don't know if I told you before, <laughs> it's a covered porch. So it is, there's no heating up here. So in the winter it can be very cold and in the summer it can be extremely hot. Uh, so we're just folding over and so yes if I sound a little <laughs> like I feel like I am going to die of heat stroke that is because I'm probably pretty close to that anyway it is all good I have a great big window in front of me and I can see the garden so I do like this space, it works, it's an extra space in our house that we wa weren't using before. So we folded the big folds, now I'm going to fold the little folds over. Um, so I am just happy that I have a space that I can create, make my mess, close the door and nobody knows. And it's quiet up here, it's not close to the living space for everybody else in the house so I don't have to constantly say keep quiet or don't make a noise it works out good but it can be the temperature can be a struggle anyway <coughs> excuse me I'm just gonna take out my cutter and just cut this in half so it's four and a half So yeah, very hot here today, but a it all it feels like summer. It doesn't feel like spring at all, which is great. I love it. The warmer it is, the better. Four and a half. one 
Okay, so that is it. And now we're gonna start gluing. And we'll just glue these pieces shut. Let me know what you guys have been up to. Are you still crafting or are you, if it's not turning, if it's turning, you know, if you have spring and getting ready for summer, if you are spending way more time outside and not spending as much time crafting, because that's usually what happens to me in the summer. It just gets busy and then, you know, you want to be outside. Like over here, in the summer it is light until 10 o'clock at night so you can stay out there for hours we usually eat way, way later in the summer so even after supper there's not a lot of time for crafting but yes let me know what you do and if maybe summer you don't like to be outside you don't like the bugs and the heat so you stay inside where it's where it's hopefully air con in, under air conditioning if it gets as warm in your part of the world as it gets here it can get very hot here but that is what i love about living here this summer is it's just it feels like you're back in south africa we used to live in Alberta for 12 years and this summer just it wasn't as warm as here. Um, so yeah, this just feels closer to temperatures that we grew up with. Anyway, so that's it. Oh, and then we have to glue the flaps together. I think the trickiest part is to glue the flaps together just to get them snug and actually all the spots to line up. And when Tina was saying that, I thought, oh, it can't be that hard, but it actually is because it keeps moving. <laughs> so I'm just kind of doing this. And then if there's an overlap, I can always cut that off or I could simply put some lace on there or anything or a fabric a fabric or paper ruffle yeah, and of course with the heat the glue becomes more runny and blobby the glue sticks I just have to remember to take them into the other part of my craft room that do have aircon so and it's not as hot as on this part of the room okay and so for the 100 day giveaway let me start talking about oh just give you the names because a lot of times i talk about the giveaway and then i forget to <laughs> give you the names but the names are always in the description box um, so the day 100 giveaway I will make up or I'm already busy putting one piece of ephemera every day when I make it I put it in an envelope so you guys can you know then I don't have to put everything together at the, on day 100 but anyway I get off topic day 100 giveaway is a hundred no 50 of the projects that I made from day 51 to day 100 and if you want to you can go back to the day 50 giveaway to see how much ephemera will be in the envelope if you are interested in participating in the giveaway so all you need to do is leave a comment on more than one video and the more comments you leave the more chances you have to win I then go through my comments every day and pick people that I see have been comment commenting regularly um, so and if I haven't picked your name and you would like to be in the list just comment and say hey I would love to win that 
an envelope full of goodies please pick me today something like that anyway so today's nominees is peachy girl 92 and kathy i'll have your last names um in the description box again i also have tina's videos in the description box she has two videos on this envelope so it is you can watch what sh how she did this and how she decorated it as it, it's just it's even just interesting watching her first video and then the second video on the same project and how different she made it anyway we have made one two three four five six seven of these in hmm, 15 minutes and again me chatting away in between so we probably make it 12 minutes let's decorate one or two of these of oh, this paper these papers are from sample these ones um, I can't remember the if it's one of her wallpaper packs I'll, I'll try to remember and add it in the description box it is just lovely I love these papers um, and Sam was so wonderful I I don't know if I bought the kit twice and if it was just a like a thing on Facebook uh, on Etsy that has happened to me before where they d deduct the amount twice from my bank account but anyway I, I contacted Sam and she said she will um, just either refund me or I can pick another kit and of course she has so many beautiful kits I picked another <laughs> kit it wasn't difficult at all anyway so this is where this kit comes from I will try to link the kit remember to link it in the description box it's absolutely gorgeous if you if I forget please just let me know that is pretty cute it is the those little cards you can get Do I like this one better maybe um, I bought these from Amazon they are those little booklets with these have flower fairies in them and I have to say I haven't used a lot of them so it's great if I can use some of this mm, let's see if I can yeah let's just do that and I'm wondering I do want to add add some of the wax this is again prima and it is bronze age and let's just add some of that so the flower fairy stands out a little bit more and again with the heat the wax is very until it dries it can be transferring to other area so just be careful let's put some glue on here and I'm wondering if I want to just ink this up this just this part of the I don't know this I cut off something maybe a collage page or something I'm wondering if that's not Tina's paper but I'm not sure you know after a while if you've cut things up you can't remember where every little piece comes from trying to but yep. upside down and yeah. why does this not look straight oh well we'll add other things at an angle and then it doesn't matter <laughs> or hopefully it doesn't okay and so for this one maybe i will decorate the inside pocket this 
because I have more fairies sitting here that will work with this paper. And of course you can put twine around or a ribbon closure or some lace if you think you need it to close or that velcro strips magnets lots of different things that you can add for closures but let's do something here as well just because i have all these cute little fairies sitting here and i have to be honest i haven't used a lot of them which is weird because they're just beautiful um I just thought I did see, oh, there is the other piece of that lace. So we add that in here just to kind of repeat what we did there. Maybe add a, that one's too long. Stay with that one, stick with that one. And I do need to cover up that lace because it kind of has a weird curve there, but we'll work with it. Maybe do that, yes. And a lot of, I don't decorate all of these. I kind of leave some of them undecorated so that when I come to pick which journal I'm going to put them in, I can decide on the decorations for that, but then the base is done. Three quarters of the work is finished, and you can, then it's like five or ten, maybe no, two or three minutes for decorating. Unless you are totally undecisive, which happens some days, and you can't just, can't find just the right thing for that. Um, don't know if that happens to you guys but some days it's just harder than others and some days it just uh, it just flows okay here okay and that one is decorated it is so cute. You can always add more, but I think for now I'm going to leave it until I have decided where I'm going to add this to. So let's see, let's um, decorate this one that was just the envelope and Let's use some of these leftover pieces that we, the strips that was left over from that, and we can simply add some of it on here, I'm thinking. too low so let's use it for the top okay and then shall we add and get rid of that white edge there just add this on here this just cut some of that off I will just trim it off once I have it glued on okay let's glue this on oh, and the excavating team is <laughs> busy downstairs not downstairs but just down from us there they have transformed the way the hill looks 
um, just underneath, just below our house. They're, I don't know if they're adding a vineyard or something in there or if it's just for, but they've done a lot of landscaping. It was just this area where there was nothing and it was almost, I would have said nobody can ever build a house or anything on there because it was just a big dip in the land, you know, in the natural flow of the land. I don't know how to put it <laughs> any differently, but oh my goodness, they have changed everything down there. It's just crazy the amount of work that went into transforming that. I'm thinking I'm gonna just quickly fussy cut this. Anyway, but we had to listen to that beeping sound when the equipment is in reverse gear for a very long time. <laughs> and after a while it gets very annoying. Anyway, I have complained about this before. So there, I've said it, it's done, we can move on. Sometimes you just have to say something out loud and it, you feel better about it. Yeah, we haven't done, I am still busy, busy, busy organizing and rearranging. No, I have not done a lot other than that. Honestly, it's, um, and the last couple of days, it's been very, very slow. I can't say that I've done anything due to unforeseen circumstances and um, yeah so it's just slow why does everything happen so slow I don't know but anyway eventually it will get done and I can share it with you as soon as my craft room is to my satisfaction well that might never happen either but I don't know <laughs> we'll have to see what else can we add to this? I still have this piece of lace here. I have some pink ribbon. Um, just trying to see what I have sitting here on my desk. I'm just going to make a paper ruffle and see how that looks. Yeah, maybe I'll add this paper ruffle and I'm thinking I'm just going to put to a stapler through it and do that. Okay. I am just looking, I just saw this uh, um, label, but not this one, it was a different one. Okay, let's use this one. Mm, just fighting with the sticker. Okay, got it. Uh, that is a little something in the background. And the metal paper ruffle. just glue this one on here and I don't think I'm going to decorate the inside because that is a lot of writing space in there that I think is just simply perfect I'm going to add just a little bit of ink on this one 
just so it kind of blends in with everything else is very beige and this <coughs> excuse me was very white okay let's add way more fabric tag there okay and of course you can ink the edges but i'm just going to leave it like that so i'll have a pocket in there and a pocket in there and lots of writing space here that I don't think I'm going to decorate now. I'll decide when I put it in a journal. But yes, you can make this super fast and easy if you just use two envelopes that's the same size. I think even, I was just thinking CD envelope in the front. If you use two CD envelopes, that would be cute too with the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, round window pocket that would be very cute so anyway here is our pockets we made this one this one that and that and this one and then we decorated these this was the prototype just to show you we decorated this one together with both pockets decorated and then this one so thank you for watching and um Peachy Girl 92 and Kathy, you are your names are going into the draw for the day 100 um, giveaway, and I will be back tomorrow with another uh, 100 day project, day 72, and that is a self tucking envelopes. So come along if you want to see how to make a self tucking envelope, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.